Hi guys, um, thank you so much for joining me for class today. My name is Allie. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through a quick booty blast. So I put a little boat out there and you guys said you wanted a quick booty blast. So here it is. Um, I am going to do this class with no equipment at all. Just to show that this can absolutely be done with no equipment whatsoever. However, if you have ankle weights, resistance bands, or little dumbbell weights, I'll cue you throughout the class as to when you can use those um, to get a little bit more spice if that's what you want. So let's just start standing. We're gonna warm up those big muscle groups, quads, hamstrings, and glutes standing, and then we'll come down to the floor to really get into it. Alright, so first I want you to just find your feet about sit bone distance apart and then go a little bit wider. So I want your heels a little bit wider than your hips and I want you to find a, a little bit of a turnout for your feet. Not crazy turnout, um, just a little bit of a turnout so you have about almost 45 degree turnout through the feet. Um, that's just going to allow us to get a little bit lower with our squats. So we're going to start with squats and then we're going to add some pulsing. So you have your hands in front of you in, uh, in prayer or on your hips. We're just going to take a nice deep inhale. On our exhale, we're going to sink down nice and low to a nice low squat. Inhale, when you come up, I want you to really thrust your hips forward and bring your hands straight behind you. Inhale in front. Exhale, send those hips forward. Good. Just keep going with me here. Just start moving. That's all we want right now. Just start moving. I'm going to show you side profile. So again, your feet are nice and wide. And when you come down, I want you to keep this long line through the body as you come down. So you're not arching through the spine or through the low back as you come down. You're keeping a nice long line. And then when you come up, what I mean by thrust is to really send those hips forward. Thrust them forward. Good. Keep going here. I want you to think about sending your knees out nice and wide for me. Good. Down and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. We're just going to do three more before we start to add some pulsing. Good. Exhale up. Last one. I want you to sit down into your squat. Stay. Pulse, pulse, pulse for six. Five, four, three, two, last one, come up. Again, sit down, pulse, pulse, good. Pulse, pulse, pulse for four, three, two, one, come up. Keep going, sit down, pulse, 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 good. Just adding those tiny little pulses at the bottom. Coming up, again, keep going for me here. One more pulsing. I want those hips staying back. I want that spine staying nice and straight. Weight is into the heels, we're wiggling the toes. Come up, two more of those, sit down. Pulse, pulse, good. Just sitting right at the bottom, pulsing it out for six. Five, four, three, two, one, come up. Give me two more of those, so we sit down nice and low, and pulse. Good, just tiny pulses at the bottom for five. And come up, one more, sit down and pulse. Good, you should be feeling a bit warm. Five, four, three, two, one, come up, good. So from here, both legs are a little bit warm. We're just doing a quick warm up with squat. We're gonna go to more of a single leg warm up here. So I want to sink your weight into your right heel. So I want all of your body weight over top of your right leg. I want you to find that nice low lunge position on the right leg. Hands are gonna be on your hips. So this one, it's all about warming up the right leg. Left leg is just challenging our body through weight transfer. So what we're gonna do is find this nice low lunge position on the right side. Look at this, really nice and low. I don't want you up here. I want those hips back and down. Your knee isn't going too far in front of your feet. Okay, I want your knee to be in line with your laces or your heel. So really sink down nice and low, good. So once you have that position in the right leg, I want you to stay there, hold everything still. All we're gonna do is you're gonna tap our left toe out, in, back, in, and then from here, we pulse, send our hips forward, lift the left leg, come down. Ready, again, out, back, thrust and lift the knee forward. Keep going, out to the side, back, tap, lift that knee forward, good, keep going. When you bring that knee up, I really want you to think of thrusting through that right hip, really coming up to a strong standing position, lifting that left knee nice and high. Again, out, back, rest. Side profile, out to the side, back. When we come 
come up, really think glutes, sending those hips forward, lifting that leg up. Good? Keep going. Nice. Should be feeling warm through that right side. I want five more. Out, back, lift. Good. Really sinking into that right heel, making sure you're getting that challenge of the weight transfer. So don't go too fast. Go nice and slow with that left leg. And really emphasize that thrust at the top when we lift that knee. Good. Just warming up here, guys. Last one. And lift. Good. Doing the straight to the other side. And then we're coming down onto the floor. So again, sinking into that nice low lunge position on the left leg, making sure those hips are coming back and down, and you're keeping the long spine through that left side. Okay? So from here, once you have that position through the left side, same thing. Out, back, tuck, lift. Side, back, lift. Good. Side, back, lift. Again, making sure that all of your body weight is steady over that left leg. It's almost like you're leaning up against a wall on your left side. Good. Take a single leg speed skater. Getting nice and low every time you come back down. Nice and low. Thrusting that left set of glutes forward to get that right knee high. Good. Finding that mind-body connection that's going to help us tap into those muscle groups even more, especially through the glutes here. It's very important that we think about using our glutes so that we don't just habitually use our quads only. Good. Five more. Out. Should be feeling warm through that left leg now. Four more. Out. Back. Up. Three. Last two. And up. Good. Okay, so you should be feeling a little bit warm here. Um, we're going to come down onto the floor. Um, we're just going to go straight into a single leg flow. So since our leg's already warm, it's okay for us to go straight into single leg. So this is one where I'm going to give you the option of using a weight behind your knee. So you can take a little hand weight and just place it behind your right knee and squeeze it. Or you can put ankle weights on your right ankle. Okay, so weight behind the knee, ankle weights around the right ankle, um, or nothing. So like I said, I'm going to demonstrate with nothing. Just for those of you that don't have anything at home, it's still nice and hard without it. Okay, so we're going to have our knees starting underneath our hips, hands underneath our shoulders, and we're just moving the right leg here. So everything else stays nice and steady. All we're going to do is lift that right leg up, nice high extension, lifting it nice and high at the top, and then bend it back in. Extend and lift nice and high, bringing it in. Exhale, lift. If you want some more core challenge, you can reach your left arm forward and balance between just the right arm and the left knee. Good, or you can leave both hands down. Good, just finding those glutes and hamstrings, lifting that leg, making sure that your spine isn't starting to arch or overextend as you reach that leg. I want you to keep your low back nice and steady as you lift that right leg. Good, yes. So keep that low back in the same position and only lifting as high as you can with just the glutes and hamstrings, not compensating through the spine. Good. Pulling your belly up away from the floor and shift your weight into your right hand. So shift your weight the opposite direction that feels natural. It feels natural to lean your weight to the left side. Just switch to the other side. Lean your weight to the right side. Good. And if you're using the weight behind your knee, you're just simply lifting and lowering. If you have the weight behind your knee, good. For five, four, last three. You should be feeling that left leg working as well. Last two, last one. I want you to bring your right knee down, hold, flex at the ankle, and now we just lift and lower. So you're keeping that right knee bent. Good, all we're doing is lifting the 
feel up to the ceiling and lower, making sure to not let your head drop. Keep a nice long neck here. Good. So getting more of a hamstring focus now. I want you to think of pulling your heel towards your bum or towards the back of your head to avoid the heel going away. So keep pulling that heel in. Good. For six. Five. We're gonna mix it up. In four. Last three. Are you ready? Last two. Last one. Hold the leg up. Stay. Tiny pulses at the top. Tiny pulses. Keep it up. Pull the heel in towards the butt. Lift, lift, lift. For ten. Good. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Not done on this side. All we're going to do to transition is come onto your left forearm. Okay, so I want your left elbow on the floor. And your forearm is just going to be just in line with your shoulders here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lean into that left elbow. And all we're going to do is we're going to straighten the right leg up onto an external diagonal and then bend it back in. So you're lifting, bringing it back down. So now instead of going straight up and back, we're going out to the side. So I want you to think of sending your right foot up towards the back right corner of the room. Bend and long straight leg lift. Bend it in, long straight leg lift. Your right hand is just planted beside your left hand. We're on the left forearm and we lift. Good. So getting more into the side butt muscles now. Keep going. Nice. Keep using your exhale as you lift. Use that exhale. Good. Five more full range. Keep using that breath for me as you extend. Last two. On your next one, extend and hold. Leave your leg. We tap the toe down and up. We're still, we still have our right leg out to the side. We're just lifting and lowering. Getting into that side bum. Good. Keep your right foot out nice and far to the side. Keeping that right leg nice and long for 10, 9. Think of your abdominals and your obliques to stabilize here. Good. For 6, 5, 4, last 3, 2, last 1. Good. Come down. Whew. All right, we're going to continue on that right leg. So from here, I want you to just simply step your right foot forward, coming into the bottom of a lunge. I want you to take your left knee and just shimmy it forward about an inch or two. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna tuck your back toes underneath, and then I want you to make sure your right knee is over your right heel. So nice long straight line, hands are on the hips or in front of you. This one requires some balance. So I'm going to show you the first few full version, and then I'll show you a modification if it's too much. So you're going to lean forward, over top of the right leg, and then you're going to use all the power in your right leg. You're going to float that back knee up. You're going to lift, and just like you're doing that first single leg exercise, you thrust your hips forward. Step the foot back, tap your left knee down, and then again, coming up, Stepping forward, left knee comes up. Step back, balance, tap your knee. Use all the right leg to come up and really send those hips forward. If there's too much balance for you, this is what you're gonna do instead. You're gonna leave the back toes and you're just gonna come up and lower. Up and lower. Otherwise, let's keep going. So really press into the right heel, shimmy through the right toes, and we lift. All on the right side. Back, balance, tap, lift. Making sure you're tapping the left knee down in between each rep, lift. Good, it's not about looking or feeling perfect in this one. Okay, if you're feeling wibbly wobbly, that's even better. You're gonna get that stability challenge through that right leg. Good, just for six. Making sure you're really thrusting through the hips at the top. That's how you're going to get a lot of glutes in this one. 
Good. Last three before we pulse. Three. Tap. Two. Last one. I want everybody to come down onto the floor. Tap the knee. All we're going to do, come up halfway, tap. Up halfway, tap. Up halfway, good. Making sure you're hinging forward here. I want you to really feel it in the right leg. For seven. Six. Keep going. Good. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Finish it off. One last press. Come back and come on down. Whew. Good job. Okay. One more thing on this right side, then we'll switch to the left. So coming onto your right elbow. I want your right elbow underneath your right shoulder. All right, from here, I want you to find your right knees bent, or your knees bent, right knee on the floor. You're gonna have, your knees are just slightly in front of you, not a bar in front of you, just slightly. Right elbow underneath our right shoulder. Essentially a side plank position with bent knees. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna press to that right elbow. This is a little combination of both side bum, more the bottom, and our obliques on the bottom side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our bottom set of bu side bum muscles on the right side. We're gonna lift up, and then we're gonna lift that top leg up with the left side. So right side is lifting the hips up, left side is lifting the left leg up, Obliques are keeping us up. Inhale, come down. Good, keep going. Exhale, lift and lower. So your hips are coming down in between each rep and then up nice and high. You don't have to lift the top leg. You can do just the hip lifts to the bottom side if you want. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Good, I really want you to think about those side bone muscles on the right side as you lift and lower. Think about them contracting to lift higher. Good. Down, up. Your hips touch down in between each rep. Good. Just for six, so we're gonna pulse. You should feel your obliques on the right side. Four. Good. Last three. Two, on your next one, coming up. Stay. From here, top leg stays high. We pulse the hips down halfway, up. Down halfway, up. Keep it in the bum on the right side. And the obliques. Good. For ten. Nine. Higher. Higher. Good. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Ooh, come down. Okay, good job. So, we're going to start back onto that left leg. Okay? So, for this one, again, if you're using a ankle weight or a weight behind the knee, you're going to put the weight behind the left knee, like this, and squeeze it. Or you're going to put ankle weights around the left ankle. Otherwise, it's still hard with nothing. So, Finding that nice quadruped position, knees under the hips, shoulders under the hand, or shoulders over the hand. Find that nice long neutral spine, and all we do, exhale, straighten and lift. Inhale down. Exhale, straighten up and lift. Again, just being mindful that your low back isn't going into dancer's position or just arching like crazy. Keep a nice steady low back. Whew. You're gonna feel that right side a lot. It's quite hard to stabilize with that right leg now because it's tired. Good. Lift and lower. Good. Again, keeping your neck nice and long by keeping your head up. It's really easy to let the head drop. So try to make sure your head stays up in line with the neck. Lift and lower. Making sure you're extending, then lifting. Good. Checking in with that low belly, pulling the belly in. Think of like a corset or seat belt around your torso and you're tightening that seat belt. Good. Tightening your core from the inside out. Good. Nice long straight leg, then lift. Long straight leg, then lift. Nice. For five, then we're gonna go into that bent leg variation. Last three, last two, one more, good, from here, all we're going to do is leave our left knee bent, from 
from here we lift it up and down. Up and down. Again, making sure you're constantly pulling your heel towards your bum. Okay, otherwise the heel will go away from you. I want it to pull in towards you. Good. Lower. Lift. Nice. You should feel a little bit more hamstring in this one. Good. Pulling your low belly up. If you still have the weight behind the knee, keep going.
keep that shoulder strong and the bottom core engaged. All right, so when you're ready, you push. Remember, we're powering this the bottom side by muscles on the left side, top side by muscles, and lifting that leg up. Good, and then obliques on the bottom side is a bonus. So when you're ready, let's go. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and down. Making sure you're really using those obliques for me, okay, on the left side. Good. Bringing the hips down in between each rep. Good. Nice. Keep going for me here. Should be feeling that crunch, the left obliques right now, just for six before we pulse. Good. Four.
you come up to see this. Okay, so we are all done. I tried to keep that as quick as possible. You can only make it so quick to actually get into the glutes and to actually really work on and fatigue them. You can only do it so fast. So I hope that that was enough for you guys. If not, you can keep doing some of the exercises that you liked. Ooh, but I know I'm burning. Um, thank you so much for joining me for class. I always say it. Um, I don't know if I told you, I have a playlist going here. I should have said it at the beginning, but my playlist is going. I have it linked underneath the video if you want to listen along, maybe next time. Um, and if you have any requests or you want anything, just leave a comment below. Tell me what you want.